Hi, and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about hypothesis testing. We're going to be looking at a claim, testing a claim, when sigma, the population standard deviation, is unknown. Now, this happens in real life. Seldom do we know the true population standard deviation. Most of us have data sets that don't allow us to know this information. So what we're going to do is look at a problem like this and go through the four simple steps that we need to answer the question. So let's look at the problem. Testing a claim when sigma, the population standard deviation, is unknown. A random sample of eight engines was selected and a normal probability plot was constructed verifying that the sample came from a normally distributed population. The mean fuel consumption was 5,880 pounds for the first 15 seconds. The sample standard deviation was 250 pounds. We want to use a 1% level of significance to test the claim that the average fuel consumption exceeded 5,500 pounds. Well, as I said, there's four simple steps that we just need to follow so that we can answer this question, so that we can test this claim. So let's go through the four steps. We have the information back on the sheet of paper for our problem. The first step is simply going to be to write the null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is our known information. The alternative hypothesis is the claim that we want to test, the question we have to answer. Our null hypothesis is that the mean is equal to 5,500 pounds. The alternative hypothesis is that the mean is greater than 5,500 pounds. The second part, the second step, is to calculate the test statistic. The test statistic is equal to, t is equal to, x bar minus mu over the standard error. We have an x bar of 5,800 pounds minus our known information of 5,500 pounds over our sample standard deviation of 2,500 over the square root of our sample size. This gives us a test statistic of 4.30. The third step is to find the critical value. In order to do this, we need to first determine our degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom are based on n minus 1 our sample size. So we have seven degrees of freedom. We now need to go to our student t distribution table to determine our critical value. We have seven degrees of freedom and we have an alpha of 0 .01. This gives us a critical value of 2.998. So we have our critical value of 2.998. Let's draw this out and see where we end up. Our critical value, which defines our rejection zone, is 2.998. This sets up, as I said, our rejection zone the area in which we would reject the null hypothesis. Our test statistic is over to the right, 4.30. This tells us that we want to reject the null hypothesis. We can be, we can be confident that we have sufficient evidence to support the claim that the mean fuel consumption is greater than 5,500 pounds. We were able to answer our question successfully within the given level of significance. Hopefully this will help you solve similar problems. Thank you and have a nice day.